everybody, it's Miss Ward and Lavender again, here for Grade 1 Spinning Earth Lesson 1.4, The Sky from Different Places. Let's get cooking. Alright, so today we're going to learn how to observe the sky from different places, and I'm actually really excited about this lesson because I'm going to get you started on something and hopefully you'll be able to do more of it on your own. Well, you'll find out. Let's look. So remember that we're working as sky scientists and we want to help Sai understand why the sky looked different to him than his grandma when they talked on the phone. So again, this is what we're trying to do is why did the sky look different? Okay. Um, but today we're answering a smaller part of that question, which is, what does the sky look like to people in different places on earth right now? So even though we're all inside at home on computers or watching TV, we're gonna figure out a way to kind of travel around to different places on earth and see what the sky is like there. And while we do it, we're gonna be looking at this big question, right? So, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask Lavender this question too. So if we look at what people in different places in the world see in the sky right now, right? So imagine we're gonna travel to all these different places in the world right now. Will the sky look the same to them? Or will it look different? So every, if you think of everybody in the world, will the sky look the same or different right now? And then why do you think that? I'm gonna listen to Lavender. What do you guys think? Will the sky look the same or different? Let's look and see. So in order to travel all around the world at the same time, we're gonna use something called a webcam. This little thing right here is a webcam. And that's how we're going to see what the sky looks like in different places all over the world. We're gonna use a webcam. Ooh. Okay, so, and what's nice is you can go on the internet and you can look up just about any place you want and you can probably find a webcam. And it shows whatever's going on in that place on, on the world right now. So all the different webcams are showing what's going on right now. And I have some examples here, but I have a feeling that you guys might have other places that you want to see. Um, so I'll make sure to show you how you can do this on your own as well. So I'm going to start with a webcam that's right by where I live because I live in beautiful, cloudy Seattle. Yay! All right. So my webcam looks like this. So, uh, I've got the Space Needle. I've got the, what is that called? That, oh, it's uh, the Ferris Wheel. I like to go on that with my daughter. She's kind of afraid of heights. It's fun anyway. Okay, so this is, um, and what we're paying attention to in these pictures is the sky, okay? So what do we see in the sky in Seattle? Because Seattle, this webcam is right by where, where I live. What do you notice about the sky? Here's another one. Well, don't worry, we'll come back to these for observations, but I just want to show you what I've got so far. So I've got Seattle, I've got Mexico City, Mexico. So we're gonna look at the sky here. I have Zambezi National Park. We're gonna look at the sky here in Zambia. We have Sydney, Australia. We're gonna look at the sky in Sydney, Australia. New York, New York. We're gonna look at a very small sliver of sky in New York, New York, because mostly this webcam is showing the tall buildings that are in New York. And we have Hawaii, okay? So these are the webcams we're gonna look at. So what we need to do is while we're observing these different webcams, we need to record, right? So draw or write down the information that we see. And we're gonna do that together. So if you have a piece of paper and a pencil, or if you have the packet that goes along with this unit, this is the time you wanna have those out so that you can record. So draw or write the information that we collect when we look at these pictures again. 
If you don't have those things though, don't worry about it at all because I'm gonna be recording and putting it back on the wall back here. Um, so you can just help me record information if you don't, if you don't have a way of recording it uh, during the video. We are going to put record on our what scientists do chart too because recording is a really important thing that scientists do. So we have observe, reading, and record, okay? Um, and today we're going to observe and record. We're gonna do one more thing too, but you'll find more about that later. Here we are, back in Seattle. So if we look at the sky, and we look at all of our choices here of things that we can observe, and we can also observe a lot of things that aren't up there, um, what can we observe in the sky in Seattle? I had to put my glasses on to make my observations of this um, of this webcam because I'm going to be looking really close with you guys. So let's look really close. What are some of the things that we observe in the sky in this picture? What are some of the things we observe? What we can do is we can use these cards that are around the outside to see if we observe any of these things. Like, for example, do we observe the sun in this picture? No, I don't see it either. Um, how about clouds? Do we observe clouds? Yeah, I see clouds too. It's like all the sky is clouds. It's basically all I observe is clouds. I'm gonna circle it. Um, I don't see any birds. Uh, cross that one out. I don't see the moon. Stars? Nope. Are there any lights? Maybe a little. I see like what looks like maybe it's car lights or something over here. Did you guys see that? So I'm going to circle lights. Uh, uh, I don't see the sun. Welcome to Seattle. Okay. And then the last thing is we have to decide if it's a dark sky or a bright sky. Dark or bright. Even though it doesn't seem like a really bright sky, I think it's not dark. Um, Cause I only see like one set of lights on, like I don't see the lights from this building or anything. So I would say bright sky. Do you guys agree? Bright sky? Lavender, what do you think? Bright sky? What do you guys think? Okay, let's go to the next one. All right, so this one was Mexico City. Can you guys do the same thing that I did with the last one on this one? Look at all of the cards and say what you see in this picture, right? And let's see, I'll give you guys some time. And just point right at the screen or you can shout out what you see. Okay, so this one is kind of tough, huh? Because the sky is not blue. But I don't know if this is clouds or not, but I don't know. Maybe it's clouds or maybe it's um, like smog or fog or something, but I don't know. It's definitely not blue sky though. Um, I don't know, do you think that's a bird? I can't tell. It might be a bird though. I'm gonna circle that. I don't see the moon, no stars, I don't see lights on, I don't see the sun. What do you guys think? Dark sky or bright sky? Yeah, bright sky. All right, so we're done with Mexico City. And you know, it's really fun to go and look at these webcams. What I've done here for this video is I've just taken pictures from webcams. But if you go to the actual webcams, um, like on the internet, they're so neat because you'll see like the cars moving and maybe the flag would be waving. Like they're really fun. If you have an adult who can help you, I, I think you should try it. All right, next is the National Park, Zambezi National Park. What do we see in this one? This 
this one is easy as far as dark sky or bright sky, right? What do you guys think? Dark sky or bright sky? Dark sky. Right? It's very dark. And like I was saying before, this is just a picture of the video, but in the actual video, you can tell that this is like a it's like an insect there was like moths and things that were flying by which was really neat but it's not a bird but it's a bug um and then i didn't see any other of these things in this one it's just dark sky right maybe if the camera was better we'd be able to see stars but i don't see them let's go on to the next one okay this one was sydney it looks a lot like the last one, except this one. Well, let me take a step back and let you guys see. The, yeah, the first thing I noticed about this one again is that it's definitely a dark sky, and I think these are lights, right? Maybe these are lights. And I'm not sure if this is lights or stars, but I'm gonna go ahead and circle stars. Ooh, my circling skills. Okay, next one. And here we are back in New York. I liked this picture because even though we can't see much of the sky right here, you can still see a bunch of the sky as a reflection in the building. Do you guys see the sky in the building? I thought that was really kind of neat. Um, so which one of these things do we see in the sky of New York? I don't know about you guys, but I didn't see any of these things. Um, I don't see any clouds in the sky or birds or the moon or stars or lights or the sun. I don't see any of those things, but I can tell that it's a bright sky. Okay, next one. Ooh, Hawaii. This is Keaho Bay in Hawaii. And um, thank you to my good friend Kaylee for helping me pronounce the name of this bay, Keaho. And um, I picked Hawaii because I have um, I have friends who live there. So, um, and I thought this was a great picture of the sky. Um, so let's look and see what we observe in the sky in this picture. Hmm. Yeah, this one for sure has lots and lots of clouds. The clouds look different than the clouds that I noticed in the other ones though. These ones look puffy. And none of these other things. I do see the ocean though, that looks nice. And dark sky or bright sky? All right, so now that we've made all of our recordings, we've recorded our information, let's talk a little bit about daytime and nighttime again. So what does the sky look like to people in different places on Earth right now? Well, we found out because we used our web cameras and look, and you guys can actually go on the internet um, and look at other web cameras if you have adult who can help you and see other places on Earth that maybe you have a connection to. Um, so in some of the places we saw a bright sky, right? Um, what do we know about when the sky is bright and we can see the sun? What do we know? I think Lavender's gonna help with this one. You ready? What do we know? When the sky is bright and we can see the sun, it's daytime! Daytime. Okay. And what do we know about when the sky is dark and we can see the stars? 
It's night time. Okay. All right. So we're going to use these words to describe, um, take our observations that we recorded and describe what we've learned about the sky in different places. So, um, and I'm going to need you guys' help on this. Okay. So in Seattle, I observed blank. So it was blank right so we have to use one of our one of our cards here for Seattle and then decide if it's daytime or nighttime will you guys help me with this okay so in Seattle I observed bright sky in Seattle I observed lights and in Seattle I observed clouds so which one of those three things that we observed are going to help us decide if it was daytime or nighttime? What's going to help us decide if it's daytime or nighttime? Does the bright sky help us decide? What about the lights? How about clouds? Hmm. Well, you know what? We should look back at our earlier chart. All right, so I moved the camera a little bit so that we can see the chart that we made last time because I think it's important that we pay attention to the observations that we made that tell us for sure it's daytime or for sure it's nighttime, right? So either the sun, or the stars, or bright sky, or dark sky, right? Um, because clouds are both there in the day and night, so we can't really use those. So let's use the cards that help us decide if it's day or night. All right, so in Seattle, I observed bright sky so it was daytime. Can you guys say this one with me? Rosie, will you help me out with this one? In Seattle, I observed bright sky, so it was daytime. All right, let's do the next one. In Mexico City, I observed, okay, clouds or bright sky. We want to just use bright sky because clouds can be there during the day or at night and bright sky tells us it's daytime or nighttime yes daytime bright sky is daytime all right guys will you guys help us with this one again rosie's gonna help too in mexico city i observed bright sky so it was daytime Zambezi National Park. This one's just dark sky and dark sky tells us it's daytime or nighttime. Nighttime. All right, let's do it. In Zambezi National Park, I observed dark, dark sky, sky, so it was nighttime. Zambezi National Park. Fun to say. Okay. Sydney, dark sky, lights, and stars. Hmm. Well, I think in our Seattle picture we said that lights could be day or night. But do we see stars ever during the day? No. We even said like nighttime we we show stars, right? So let's say stars this time. And I wish webcams, uh, a lot of webcams just aren't strong enough to get starlight, but um, I wish more of them did. Okay, so we're gonna say stars this time, and stars tell us it's nighttime. In Sydney, I observed stars, so it was nighttime. Okay, and New York is bright sky. We only have one, and that's daytime. 
In New, New York, York, I observed bright sky, so it was daytime. All right. I hope you guys are all saying it along with me and Rosie. Otherwise, we're going to feel silly. <laughs> okay. Okay, here's our last one, Keauho Bay. Um, bright sky. And that means it's daytime. Okay. In Keauho Bay, I observed bright sky, so it's daytime. We did it! Yay! Okay. Now that we've recorded all our data, we need to organize it. So I've put all of the places that we saw webcam pictures of on one side of this chart. And on the other side of the chart, I've written whether or not we decided it was daytime or nighttime. So, and then I'm going to highlight them so that we know which one's which. So Seattle, we decided was daytime. Mexico City was also daytime. Zambezi National Park was nighttime. Sydney was nighttime. New York was daytime. And Hawaii was daytime. So I'm going to make the daytime ones yellow and the nighttime ones blue. So what if we learned by looking at our data table? Lavender, what do you, what do you, what do you think it is important about this data table? Did you guys notice that it's not daytime everywhere? There's two places where it's nighttime, right? So it's daytime and nighttime at the same time in different places right now. Very strange. I did not think that was going to be true. So what we just did is we organized our data. So we set it up in a way that makes sense. And I'm going to put that up on our chart of what scientists do. We organize our data by what cities were day and which places were night, right? So we observed, we recorded, and we organized our data, which means we're just about done today, you guys. So what does the sky look like to people in different places on Earth right now? What does it look like? What do we know about the answer to this question? Does the sky look the same to everybody? It doesn't, does it? The sky looks different depending on where you live. Who knew? All right, bye guys. Thanks for looking at webcams with me today. Have a great day.